Welcome to ACT. In this video, I want to show you how you can import your own contacts into ACT from a spreadsheet or a CSV file. First, let's talk about your spreadsheet. Whether your contact records are stored in an Excel spreadsheet or even a simple CSV file, let's begin by opening it in Excel. The best and most obvious way to format your file is to list each contact as their own separate row within the spreadsheet. Each cell of the row should contain specific information about each contact, such as name, email address, phone number, and so on. At the top, your first row should contain headers to identify what each column represents. The header row will eventually be mapped to fields in your ACT database. And don't worry if your headers don't match the ACT fields exactly, because we'll be able to match them up during the import process. So if your spreadsheet looks something like this, then you're on the right track. So let's save this spreadsheet as a CSV file to the desktop. And then we can switch over to ACT. Now in order to perform an import, you must be logged into your ACT database as either a manager or administrator security role. Once you've done that, then go to the tools menu at the top and choose import. This will launch the import wizard window. To get started, just click next. And now you need to browse to locate the CSV file on your computer. I saved mine to my desktop and it's called contacts-import. Click that to highlight it and then click the open button. That file should show up here in this field. And if it does, then click next. Now decide whether this is going to be a typical import or a custom import. If you're not sure that your headers will map perfectly with ACT, then it's a good idea to choose custom. Beneath this, you can also click the duplicate checking button if you think that there's a chance that you will be creating duplicate contact records with this import. Otherwise, click next. Now ACT wants to know if it should import the first record in your spreadsheet. Now this is talking about the first row the one that has all the headers in it. Since I have a header row on my spreadsheet, which identifies each of the column's contents, then I'm gonna choose no to this question. Otherwise, my header row would be created as its own contact record in ACT. So let's click next. Okay, now is where we need to decide how to map the spreadsheet to the current fields that already exist in ACT. Most of the time, ACT is gonna be able to figure this out for you. So just scroll down in this list and make sure that everything is mapped correctly. You can see that ACT was smart enough to map my URL column in my spreadsheet to the website column in ACT. If you need to make any changes using these dropdowns, go ahead and do that. And then when you're all ready, click Next again. Now we need to specify some merge options here. If the source CSV file records match a contact that already exists in my ACT database, I'm going to decide to merge them together. This will prevent having any duplicate records. If the source CSV doesn't match any current ACT contact in my database, then I want to add them as a new contact. And then I'll click Next. This shows us a brief summary of all of our current choices. And if everything looks good, click Import. Now, depending on the number of rows in your spreadsheet, this process could take a few minutes to complete. My spreadsheet only contained five rows, so it finished pretty quickly. And the wizard even tells me that the import is complete, and it gives me a confirmation of how many contacts were created or merged from my spreadsheet. So I'll click Finish to close this wizard. And now let's go check the ACT database to make sure that these contacts were imported. To do that, I'm going to perform a lookup of all contact records that were created today. So from my lookup menu at the top, I'm going to choose contact. And then the field I want to look for is not contact, but it is create date. I want that to be equal to, and then I'll just put in today's date. And then click OK. We now see a contact lookup presented as a list view for all the contacts that we've created today. Within this list view, I can see that each of the contacts from my spreadsheet has now been added to my ACT database.